yesterday we were about to derive the formulas and then uh, left them uh, yeah yeah in graphical design also we need this formula okay some equations we have to derive and then we will go for graphical design okay but i have drawn no some graphs Okay, so in the last class we have given some graphs where we have to plot. You know there are three variables. In whatever way you want, you can always uh, try to plot them, changing x, y, y, x, and all that. But logically there is only one way to draw. Logically where we are convenient with that kind of drawing, so that only we plot. But before doing that, how do you get those graphs which I have given there? Right? Someone going like this, someone increasing, decreasing, and all kinds of things are there. But how do you? get those actual uh, lines there that is what first we will decide and uh, for this we will take irreversible reactions first and in this case it does really doesn't matter whether you have first order reaction or second order, sorry uh, whether you have exothermic reaction or endothermic reaction okay irreversible only temperature decreases with endothermic temperature increases with uh, exothermic okay and uh, but the rate lines will be increasing only all the time so for irreversible reactions let us first take that i have a very simple thing like it's going to products it is irreversible so products will not affect anything there so then minus ra for this one is kca to the power of n and of course as usual we are going to get kca for n equal to 1 right so now it is a non isothermal reactor where i can write this equation minus ra equal to k 0 e power minus e by rt ca not 1 minus xa and we are also telling that you know there is no volume change okay this is the equation 1 and equation 2 yeah so this equation i would like to arrange in terms of xa not in terms of xa xa and uh, as a function of the other two then you will get just by readjusting this equation you will get minus ra e power minus e by rt whole thing divided by k not ca not this is equation 3 so this is one equation right so now i have three variables that is xa as a function of now minus ra and t all other things are constant what is k not i think uh, i don't have to derive that equation you know very simply you can write this equation so k not is the frequency factor which i know and ca not initial i know and e and r fluctuation energy you have to measure before to start this okay it is a first order reaction and for second order reaction also you can write this but only thing is that will be more complicated so that's why we are writing in the simplest form first order you, you are taking and now how can i draw this graph which minus ha huh? no 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 i think that is plus only that is plus only yeah you check it yeah that is plus only right yeah so now yeah like the graphs which i have shown you the other day yesterday now i can plot x versus t or x versus r or r versus x all combinations are possible but most convenient way of drawing this one is in terms of x and t so when i say when i have x a and t in x axis and uh, x as in y axis conversion is in y axis okay so now what is the parameter for us now r is a parameter okay and anyway the maximum conversion because we are plotting conversion it cannot be more than one so that line can be shown something like this so now i have to calculate this x every time 
I have to substitute for a T, that means I should know the range of temperature and that is the reason why thermodynamics you know when we are talking about Gibbs free energy and all that you know. So, at that time I know definitely what is the corresponding temperature and then uh, equilibrium conversions right, equilibrium conversions. So, then I will know the range of temperatures where I will get this that means equilibrium conversion is if it is 60 percent that itself is x a equal to 1 for us because beyond that it cannot go ok. Yeah, unless otherwise of course, you have very very large uh, uh, k values right. So, but anyway uh, now I can assume minus r a as uh, let us say 0 of, 0 of a put nothing will happen you know we should not use that. Then a small value for minus r a then calculate for various t is then I will get x versus t. So, I will have lines like this going. this is the kind of lines, this is for each one r. So, how r is increasing or decreasing this way or increasing this way or is it this is r 1, r 2, r 3, r 4. So, from the graph can you tell I mean because you have the idea huh? as temperature increasing rate must. So, this will be in this increasing order. Okay. So, this is minus r a 1 minus r a 2 etcetera. Okay. Yeah, or maybe I think you know this will be 1 or a equal to 1, this may be 10, this may be 100, this may be 1000, just to give you some physical feeling. Exothermic endothermic does not matter. Yeah, even endothermic as the temperature is increasing irreversible, what will happen to rate? even endothermic, you are increasing the temperature. So, it should increase. So, that is why it is uh, uh, irreversible exo or endo does not matter. Okay. Only irreversible you will have problem, sorry reversible you will have problem. Okay. Good. So, this is very simple, then we will see later how do we use this for our graphical design, but this is the first one. Then the second case is I have uh, yeah reversible endothermic. reversible uh, okay first i will write exo or endo because the equation is same only sign changes endothermic exo or endothermic now it is a reversible simplest scheme which we can uh, write without getting confused with the mathematics is this scheme where C are not equal to 0, much simpler, okay. only C are not uh, is there. And uh, for exothermic, endothermic you also know that you know E 1, E 2, depending on those two values you can find out which is endo, which is exo now that I will tell you a little bit later. right? Yeah. So, now what is the rate equation here minus R A equal to K 1 C A minus K 2 C R. So, this is equation number 4. Yeah. So, this equation I can write in terms of uh, it is activation and sorry Arrhenius equation. This is k 1 0 yeah, e power minus e 1 by r t into c a naught 1 minus x a correct for the first part. Second part k 2 0 that is the frequency factor e power minus am I crossing my boundaries ok e power minus uh, e 2 by r t into c a naught x a. So, this is equation 5 ok yeah this is minus r a. Anyway. So, this also I would like to write in terms of x a. This algebra you have to do on your own, I am mean, very simple, I mean, it is L k z algebra. Separating x a and writing in terms of you know minus r a and temperature, that is all. Okay. So, if I do that, the, you know all these things can be again I have to blackmail you saying that this may come in the separate test, otherwise you do not do it, no? that is the problem. 
So, but anyway, this X A can be written as K 1 0 e power minus e 1 by R t minus minus R a naught by R a naught by C a naught again whole thing divided by k 1 naught e power minus e by e 1 by R t plus k 2 0 e 2 by R t. Okay. So, this is just separation and I can also write that in a much nicer way where x a yeah 1 minus minus r a e power e 1 by r t e 1 by r t this divided by k 1 0 c a naught again this whole thing divided by 1 plus k 2 0 k 1 0 yeah e power minus e 1 minus e 2 by r t yeah so this is a nice form Equation 6? Sorry, no, sorry. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yesterday I made a mistake in writing uh, that Van Topp's equation. Van Topp's equation, you remember, no? Yeah, that k1, k2 I have written small, small k1, k2. Actually, both of them are capital k1, k2. Yeah, actually, it should be k, k by k0 but both are capitals. The other side we have T and T naught, no? So, that is corresponding to that K naught and uh, K, I am sorry, capital K, right? Yeah. So, that is, please correct that, Van Topp's equation. <coughs> I think Resmi or someone, where is Resmi? Oh, there, yeah. Yeah, Jahanavi, I think they found out that, sir, it must be K 1, that is right. Capital K, capital K 0 and capital K. Then only that limits will be satisfied, otherwise no. Because normally our convention is small case are for rate constants and capital case are for equilibrium constants. So, that is why. Yeah. Okay, good. So, this is the one and now. Uh, e2 minus e2 you are right, e2 minus e1. Yeah, otherwise I should have removed minus there, that is all, E 1 minus E 2. Yeah. So, now uh, actually this E 1 minus E 2 is, is what? E 1 minus E 2, heat of reaction. Do you remember that reaction coordinate diagram? I think which I have told you sometime back also. Okay. Yeah. So, I think maybe I have to draw for uh, some other people who do not want to remember. So, that is why I just again I write once more. So, that they will remember. I think maybe I will draw here as a small one. Yeah, what are the coordinates? Energy and? It is not reaction rate actually. Yeah, it is actually reaction path. Reaction path. Okay. Yeah. So, when you have this kind of, maybe this is activated. Yeah this is 1, same thing reaction path versus uh, E, then I may have another one, not so much, correct no. So, what is this one? Yeah, this is E 1. E 2. Please remember this, this is a nice problem to be asked, a nice question to be asked in the interviews. Okay. Yeah. So, then this one will be 
E 1, E 2. So, which is endothermic, which is exothermic here? This is, this means E 1 minus E 2, this will be negative value. So, this is exo, okay, I have to also write here delta H, uh, yeah, okay, I can write here itself. In general, delta H R equal, delta H R equal to E 1 minus E 2. Right? So, if E 2 is greater, then this becomes negative, then it is exothermic reaction and uh, yeah, the other one is endo. So, this is exo yeah, this is the one now. Huh? E 1 minus E 2, oh, the top one is endo. Yeah, yeah, you are right. Where is my, yeah. Okay, sorry, yeah. this is endo, this is exo. No, no. E 1 greater than E 2. Oh, yeah, yeah. What I wrote is right. Is. Oh, this one you are telling, huh? Yeah, yeah. No, sir. Even minus E two. What is this you are playing with me? <laughs> no, I think I don't want to listen to you. So I think I, I have written E one minus E two doesn't matter. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, don't play <laughs> because I started listening to you. That is very bad. I think I have to take my own decision. I have everything here. Okay, good. Yeah. So this is the one. Okay. So, now this one will, will be now accordingly the, the values of E 1 and E 2, this will be either exothermic or endothermic. That is why as far as derivation is concerned, I have written here exothermic or endothermic. Right? If delta H R is negative, then we have exothermic and if delta H R is positive, we have endothermic. Okay? So, now let us plot those uh, graphs. So, now I, I will take endothermic case, this is 2. Delta H R is yeah, positive. Good? Yeah. So, what kind of graph I will get if I want to plot? Again, same thing, X A versus T. This is what the question which I asked you long time back uh, uh, in 0th exam. Yeah, tell me, how do I draw that? Huh? Ah, so, how do I draw it? Tell me. So, as the conversion decreases. Okay. First, what you have to do? It is a reversible reaction. That means, R equal to 0 also possible. Right? R equal to 0. So, that means, I can substitute here R equal to 0. For, for uh, reversible reaction. Then I will worry about delta H R equal to positive or negative. So, this term will be there for R equal to 0, this will vanish. So, this will be 1 by all this. Okay? So, now I mean R equal to 0, it is a function of only T, I mean R equal to 0. Now, calculate for different T's, what will be the X straight forward. So, then you will get what line? Equilibrium line or some other line? You will get equilibrium line. How the equilibrium goes there? You are telling increase like this. Huh? Huh? You said increase or decrease? Decrease. You are telling increases like this. So as a as like you goes know, on. 10 kilometers, 10 kilometers like this. And one micrometer like this. You know? So as a T increases, X decreases. Okay. Ah, tell me, Abdul. So decrease the temperature. Huh? Recently also I have plotted, I say. Even yesterday I plotted it is there. Yeah, Abdul, a, see yesterday's notes. Yeah, I saw that graph. Ah, where, 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 where? Is it increasing or decreasing? Increase, increase, increase. See, I can happily draw there without asking you. But, <laughs> but by asking you, I thought some of you will think. That is the reason why I am again asking 
many many times same thing yeah abdul now you tell decrease increase <laughs> and decrease <laughs> okay and now you, you you tell you draw you tell me now i will draw i will draw <laughs> don't be afraid i say all of us can make mistakes i also made many mistakes you played with me also <laughs> okay tell me very good so it goes <laughs> no no here show me it goes like that is enough correct what is that is right so this is and finally anyway this one will be yeah that maximum you know equilibrium yeah that mean under extreme conditions it can go to 1 also okay good so this is the one this is r equal to 0 not below that's right only yeah so then if i take r equal to 1 for example r equal to 1 see as temperature is increasing what will happen to the rate it is increasing here but i know you can actually calculate anyway i am going to give you an exercise also which you have to do on excel and then you will know yourself okay so depending on delta h r value you have to calculate x versus t and then plot okay you take this this value delta h r once positive once negative so then you will know you know actually you feel it when you do it so that is the reason yeah sorry in the endothermic you have written even if lower it is below just talked about that i said but the then you no this is okay i mean you can write the way you want not yet sir in the graph of endothermic reaction this graph this graph yeah ah yes, this even if below it is above so what no even this thing is going so then can be there it can be there the absolute value only i have to find out whether uh, positive or negative that's all once you subtract one from the other okay yeah the total is negative total is positive i say yeah delta hr right so that is why i think uh, that is no problem yeah you tell me the other one r equal to 1 below uh, below that how how it goes same shape yeah it is not exactly same shape it goes something like this something like this trying to reach so this minus r a here equal to 1 10 100 like this okay this is for endothermic okay good so exothermic oh here also out right huh? reaction okay same again x a versus t okay so this one first r equal to 0 same equation but i think depending on this values you will get yeah so it starts from uh, almost to the top like this it goes okay good this is r equal to r a minus r a equal to 0 now for very small r r equal to 1 for example yeah it increases and decreases because for exothermic reaction forward reaction till some point it will increase then backward reaction starts dominating so it will come back again so that is why it reaches a maximum and then goes like this not touching that if it touches then again zero it cannot because this is a value for r so you also have another line like this another line like this another line like this so this is minus r a equal to 1 100 good so actual optimization problem is only with exothermic reaction that optimization thing we will uh, talk later a little bit later
yeah okay so now how do i use this information for the graphical uh, design okay so we will take the simplest one for graphical design that is uh, yeah we will take some general curves for graphical design okay so this is the information we will discuss again later for as far as optimization concerned how do you use this 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 and all that but now you take any one of those general figures like this figure i will take first right so that figure i will just exaggerate and then try to draw here x a versus t so then we have uh, something like oh maximum is 1 there like this this is rate minus r equal to 1 10 100 1000 like this okay so what i have here is i i just used only now the material balance equation i think you know without talking about any reactor but this is the equation what i have used and now i have generated that information now to get this uh, volume of the reactor now i have to use what another minus area why we have various minus area is there so you have not no one told you this one in your btech or uh, mtech this design ramkrishna no really I mean, this part is really wonderful part in uh, Leon Spiel, and most of you would have used only Leon Spiel book. You also, <laughs> yeah, you avoid because you know if you learn, you have to write in the exam. So that's why I think. <laughs> huh? What do you mean by reaction part? Yeah, it's not reaction part. From the energy balance, you should now get the relationship between conversion and temperature. If you have no, I told you that for simplest case adiabatic, you will get a straight line, assuming that delta H is equal to constant. So if you plot that, then that line will intersect all those rates. Okay, if you take for example adiabatic, right? But it need not be uh, adiabatic all the time. That means you may have sometime the non-adiabatic case where if you are talking about uh, reactor, uh, you know, pl plug flow reactor. along the length you have various temperatures and also you have various uh, rates or conversions various rates and also various conversions but energy balance gives this conversion versus temperature so and the way i remove heat any shape of line i can get it's not straight line the way i get adiabatic case adiabatic is a special case right adiabatic is a special case so the conversion versus temperature line or uh, you know uh, that relationship yeah, okay i think i will also tell you here energy balance will give me energy balance gives um uh, x a as a function of temperature okay and of course we are taking here for simplicity delta h r is constant and all that over that wide range okay so this this relationship if i have a adiabatic case and also delta h is not varying with temperature not only delta h r there is another thing also which varies with temperature in the energy balance cp cp can also vary with temperature right because in that relationship you get definitely delta h r and also definitely cp i mean i i also derive one equation just to give you a sample but this one as just simple analysis so this relationship i can plot whatever way i can plot whatever whatever way i want it right so for example i may say that i have a relationship something like this this is crazy you will scold me but still it's okay like this it's really crazy okay but i can have that kind of crazy also because it is only depends how how i am removing heat along the length of p of r this is p of r this this line is for p of r okay so now i have drawn this now i have entire design information on that graph can you identify that information i have the entire design information on that graph now ramkrishna have you thought about this 
this is very beautiful one i said Oh. So to get that minus r a 1 by minus r a versus x a can be plotted and plus that 1000. That is what indirectly you are solving that minus uh, uh, minus r a temperature and corresponding rate. That is what no when you are plotting that each intersection will give you only that information. So, that is why I may take for example, here this is x a right and correspondingly this is r a. So, this is x a this is r a means 10 ok. This x a this x a may be I mean just let me say that this is 0 to 1. So, this may be uh, point 0.2 ok point 0.2 and this may be uh, not this may be is exactly 10 correct no it is cutting here then it is going here. No, there are many many lines in between. You can draw any number of lines, you can take any number of r's and any number of x's. Okay? But here from this graph only I have few, so I am just trying to draw that. In fact, there is another line also which goes here r equal to 5 for example. So, then again you have to take this line and this line and of course, when you are going systematically with uh, conversion. right? So, okay. now just ignoring that now you have this point where I may say that okay, that is equal to 0.5 what is the value 1 r equal to 1 and again it is coming to this point where this may be 0.6 x equal to 0.6 and what is this value 10 ok. Yeah. So, then next value somewhere here. So, somewhere here uh, it should increase huh? I think it should go. Yeah, like that. So, this one may be 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, okay, I think approximately I can say that this is uh, touching here, yeah. Touching here that may be 0 0.75, okay. So, then what is the value 100? And finally, this may be around 0 0.9, right, 0 0.9 and what is the value again? 1. So, now I have to I have to I will remove this one function ok. This is 1 by minus r a. So, if I simply plot 0 0.2 equal to 0 0.1, this is 1, this is again 0.1, this is again 0.01 and this is 1. How do I plot that? I think uh, where is Savita? Oh, Savita is there. Okay, yeah. So Savita, what you asked yesterday, I just want to give this one. So that's why I have drawn that crazy line. So now I can plot one by minus R A versus X A. I have that information, right? It is a plug flow reactor. So it is starting with point one minus R A equal to point one somewhere here. What is the maximum value? One. Okay. So, this may be 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and then 1. Okay. So, now uh, 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.2, this also 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, okay. this is 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0.8 this is 1 okay so just approximately trying to draw that so then for, for point 0.2 it is point 0.1 so somewhere here the point okay good so then uh, what value next one is point 0.5 point 0.5 is somewhere here and 1 ah jumped here this is the one afterwards point 0.6 Point 0.6, point 0.1, point 0.1 means again uh, point 0.6, this is 1. So, it has come to this point. Okay. Then point 0.75, point 0.75 is somewhere here. So, this is again point 0.01, oh still less. Okay. Then point 0.1 again increased to yeah, point 0.9 here, this is 1. 
how do I draw now? Of course, here to start with uh, maybe somewhere here that means corresponding to x equal to 0 also I have to calculate that value okay? or I had uh, x equal to 0 how do I get from here? Ah, x equal to 0 is this line no? x equal to that means there is another line which is also going through like that right. So, that value also I know understood no or last hope. Okay? Last hope because I, I started putting values there. If I have not put values generally probably you could have uh, been in the class. Okay? Yeah. But anyway corresponding points we have to take and then print out and, and then plot then you will have yeah, some value here definitely. So, you will have like this, like this, like this, yeah. So, now what is the volume of the reactor? Because we have plotted for plug flow. So, area under the curve, all this area is really crazy, crazy place. And you know, uh, if I take this is my conversion is 0 0.9. Okay, so this one equal to P of R. So area under the curve will be V by F A naught. Okay, I mean this is really crazy as I told you. Okay, this is really crazy. But I just want to tell you, but it can be really crazy also depending on the way you remove heat that depends on what is the functionality between x and t, but nice guy will be adiabatic reactor where you will get a nice uh, way of uh, uh, that 1 by minus ra versus x a you will get some other very nice way for this kind of increase in the rates. Because again if you go to this kind of increase in rates then you will have a different kind of uh, I mean graph that means I am talking about x a versus 1 um, minus 1 by r a versus x a graph. But what you have learnt here is that the extra thing is that even with non isothermal reactors the final area under the curve only will give me the that cannot go wrong right. But instead of calculating I mean integrating now I can find out that those points correspondingly the intersection point between r and then uh, yeah corresponding x right. And I have drawn here how many points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 only, but you can draw any number of lines in between. So, that you will know again another point here, maybe another point here, another point here, all that. Right? Because between this and this, Abdul, how many lines I can draw? Infinity. So, that is why you can draw whatever you want and then get that for smooth curve so that you can join nicely. Right? So, that is the procedure, graphical procedure. And now, if I just want to know that uh, for adiabatic case, what kind of, uh, okay, this is for PFR. None of you are asking me what do you, what do I do for CSTR, okay? Yeah, that is what I told you, you know, I have to question, I have to answer. But you do not, uh, sir, I think now, yeah, it is beautiful PFR. Now, you tell me how do you do MFR, okay? Anupriya, ask like that. <laughs> okay, so now, how do I do it for MFR? How do I do it for MFR? I think maybe these equations you have noted down, I will remove this. Yeah. Let me say that I have the same minus, oh no, no, x a versus t graph. Yeah. So, r is increasing anyway in this fashion. This is r a equal to 1, 10, 100, 1000 like that. Okay, 1000 like that. Okay. Tell me. Huh? You have a? Yeah, how do I find out that? What is the, what is the problem I am asking? Is it volume of the reactor? You have to find out volume of the reactor, no? The area under the curve. So that means what you should know? And how many times I repeat this essay? If you know the volume, what you can find out? Conversion. If you know conversion, what you can find out? Volume. So that means what I am asking here? Volume. Okay. That means you should know 
conversion, definitely you should know conversion. Let us say I have 80 percent conversion. So, that means I can draw that line, 80 percent conversion line there. Okay? Yeah. Right. So, it is exactly same thing, you know, even if this graph, graph is crazy, so it going like this, you know, this is x a as a function of t. Now, you see this graph is cutting at only one point, which is Yeah, this point. Are you able to see that point? Right? Yeah. So, this line, of course, there is, I mean, I have put 10 there, but it may be 8 line, 8. This is also, of course, this 10 is also continuing like this. Okay. I think I will also plot, I mean, nicely we have different colors here. So, my x versus t graph is. like this. Okay? And I have another nice uh, color. Yeah, this is x a equal to 0.8. So, now you see this line, this line that means you know this r, uh, uh, this is okay, this red line, this is minus r a equal to 8, 8, 8. 8. Okay. That is 8 minus r a line and this is x a line equal to 0.8 and this line it is going and cutting here. So, that means this is the point another color that is the point. Okay. Because in a mixed flow reactor there will be only one point I think you know one rate corresponding to one conversion. Conversion we fixed already. Now, you can also get correspondingly what is the temperature from this graph. So, all the outlet conditions you have now, right. You know x a that, that, that is the line which you have drawn and you know minus r a now where it is cutting, right and also you know corresponding temperature. So, that is how you do. Even for recycle reactor also. So, recycle reactor what you have to do is you will draw a line something in between like this. I mean if it is a straight line, it need not be straight line. So, it can be like this. But you know that uh, conversion is not zero in a recycle reactor when it is entering reactor. That part you have to remember. But whereas there and here x equal to zero, right? I mean the entry x equal to zero, right? So that is why you can now also extend this one for recycle reactor, right? Even batch reactor. I mean all reactors. Whenever you have temperature versus conversion relationship and you have this information, this, this kind of graphs. We have done it for simplest case like uh, you know A going to minus R uh, first order reaction, right. But you can plot these graphs and also those all those graphs for any kind of rate. But only thing is you have to separate x a and then you have to write that in terms of minus r a and t temperature. So, plot uh, this way because this is the most convenient, uh, convenient way of getting the information for the design. Okay? Understood no? Ramakrishna, I think not that happy, you know, I do not know why, because you lost somewhere, please tell me if you are not understood. Devayan, lost somewhere? Ah, yeah, Abhijit? Ah. No, that is any curve, uh, that, that is that means any kind of heat exchange I have. See, I told you that this uh, uh, x a versus x a as a function of temperature that relationship you get only from the energy balance, right. So, that energy balance when you are writing maybe probably I have to write that and then tell you, okay. I will write it and then tell it to you. Maybe that still there may be some people who may not be understanding that. Okay. So, now I will write for uh, exothermic reaction, sorry not exothermic. Um, yeah, adiabatic reaction. Uh, okay, I think this this equation not required. Uh, okay, Avijit may not be following, but any other people also not able to follow. How do you get that line? You are 
Therefore, you are also not able to follow. Okay. So then, uh, uh, what did I tell? I mean, wh what is the meaning of writing there? Energy balance gives x as a function of temperature. What is the meaning of that? No meaning. Huh? Yeah, maybe you tell that. You know, if there is no meaning, sir, you can write, sir, there is no meaning. Huh? From energy balance, we are finding relation between x and. That's all. And what kind of relationship you can expect? You tell me what kind of relation you can expect. You cannot expect any kind of you know specific kind of relationship. Okay, but only for adiabatic case you can expect a stately. So that's why I just want to give now that uh, adiabatic. Uh, you know the energy balance and for the simplest reactor mixture flow then you will know that energy balance for mfr okay so uh, let me give you this we have yeah this is the one and uh, here i have volume volume volumetric flow rate volumetric flow rate constant density and all that we are assuming and also i have here the density is rho that also is required in one way of writing and i have cp and t not here also i have rho is anyway constant and then cp t but yeah, okay xa this is zero xa not equal to zero and of course, I can also get a C A naught and all that also. Yeah, C A naught I can write here. C A also I can write there. So if I want to write this equation, you can also write in terms of F A naught or F A. F A means molar flow rate. Okay. But now we are writing in terms of volumetric flow rate. V is the volumetric flow rate. Okay. Good. So now uh, energy balance. What is the time now? Energy balance. What we have is input input equal to output plus energy generated or consumed due to reaction okay if it is exothermic reaction it is generated if it is endothermic reaction absorbed okay yeah plus it is unsteady state I mean, it is steady state only it is not unsteady state yeah plus we have heat removed by external means so that means i i, I may have here jacket and some amount of heat is this is T uh, okay T C also T C that means uh, you you have the heat capacity of this fluid so high the temperature increase in that I am practically not seeing assumption it is simply an assumption okay it may be there may be one uh, degree increase okay so but as an engineering uh, as an engineer first I want to simplify the problem understand and then the remaining things I can follow later okay. So that is what this is what then this is when I am writing this I can write here this heat input is ah, okay first of all heat input should be uh, what are the units I have to balance it is kilo joules per time okay that is what is the heat all right right so this is V rho C P T naught that is what is entering here equal to V rho C P T right that is coming out and reaction if I take I have a exothermic reaction then this becomes negative. So that means you know I should have written input because that also becomes input inside that. So that is why okay I write here plus R minus minus R A into delta H R. Ah, what are the units of that? Ah, into into volume. And what are the units of this? 
this is kg uh, this is a meter cubed per second and this one is kg per meter cubed and cp is okay joules are okay kilo joules per huh? yeah this is where you make the mistake you know th that depends on this flow rate okay if it is kg per meter cubed this will be expressed per kg no you, cp you can express based on your molecular weight either on based on mole or kg so that's why please be careful in the examination you will make that mistake that's why better write that but in this case it is kg per degree kelvin or maybe degree centigrade i will put here okay that doesn't matter okay so then i have degree centigrade so now what is this is cancelled this is cancelled this is cancelled i have kg per second correct no kg per second so that is the balance what we are making plus i have this external means as simply q where q a q equal to u a delta t what is a all this heat transfer area okay u what is u the heat transfer coefficient between this liquid and overall heat transfer coefficient okay that u a and delta t is this because everywhere you have the same temperature t because here you have t right everywhere you have temperature so t minus tc t minus tc everywhere and that's why we assumed that we have a fluid where it can absorb any amount of heat without increasing its temperature that means cp must be cp must be very very high yeah rahul with respect to exothermic or endothermic that will take yeah that means you know i have to write here negative this entire quantity as negative if i have uh, exothermic that means that will become uh, input here okay minus yes. and then that will take that will take yeah i think that's fine no problem yeah that's fine depending on delta hr value i thought you will write that okay so now this is the equation now what we are saying is if i take that this is zero what i have adiabatic system there is no heat removal right for adiabatic yeah no rho and uh, cp we are assuming that is they are not changing with temperature because i think all these are assumption otherwise unnecessarily the equation will be so complicated i told you you will forget about actually what we are discussing and worried about the big equations that is the reason why we are simplifying to understand the concepts okay good so now if i separate this and yeah i have another equation here this is delta hr and what is that what we need we need a relationship between conversion and temperature but is it this is the meter balance equation but is it relating conversion versus temperature yeah so i have now the material balance equation where minus ri into v equal to ha ah, f not xc ha ah, f not i can also write in terms of v by c not correct no yeah v into c not because i have not used the fa so that's why i am writing that okay so now i can substitute that here so what we get here v rho cp t not equal to v rho cp t then i have here for minus ra delta v i have v minus v c a not yeah v c a not x a or delta h r into x right so this equation i can now write t minus t uh, okay i think here i will write t minus t not equal to see that whether writing i am creating correctly or not ca not delta hr by rho cp into x a check this you will get it no good very good so now this is what this is what we are what we are calling as beta 
So, T minus T naught equal to beta into X A. Okay. Check with some OGS. Okay. Okay. T minus T equal to beta X A. Now, how do I plot this information on this graph? Or shall I draw a fresh graph? X A versus T. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what is the slope? Do I know the slope? 1 by? Excellent. It is 1 by beta. Right? Because X A is Y, this is T. So, I can write this equation only as X A equal to 1 by beta. Okay. This is uh, T by 1 by beta minus T naught by beta, not 1 by beta. So, that means this is y, this is m x and this is c. Okay, ah, plus here, what, what, okay, that, that, that depends on that. Okay, good. So, now this is the one. What is slope now for me? 1 by beta. So, when I plot that here, if it is exothermic reaction, the temperature must increase, right? right? So, uh, okay, good. So, this now it goes something like this, right. So, this is minus R A equal to maybe 1, 10, 100, 1000 like this, sorry, 1000 like this. So, this is energy, energy balance. Right. So, then I can also draw number of lines here. Huh? For exothermic? No, no. For exothermic it is positive. In fact, for endothermic it is negative. It comes like this. It goes like this. It goes like this for endothermic. Okay? Yeah. You know, how can you say that? Because for exothermic as uh, temperature is, I mean as conversion is increasing, temperature must increase. No? or as temperature is increasing, conversion must increase. Okay, good. So, so this one, yeah, now here, this is a point, this is a point, this is a point, this is a point and in between another line here, this is a point. So, now you can see this point x a versus minus r a, x a versus minus r a, x a minus r a, x a minus r a, list out like that exactly and then plot 1 by minus r a versus uh, x a, then area under the curve that will give you the diagram. Avijit? Okay. Yeah, because this is the functionality what you are telling. This we say now T, oh no, X A, uh, this one, this one. This one as X A as a function of T. This is what, what you are telling. Now, if I add this Q and then solve that equation, because there is another T also here, because that is T minus T C in this Q. Okay, did I write that? Okay. This Q is u a delta t which is nothing but t minus t c. That I have to substitute there. Yeah, yeah, in this one. Now, then depending on my q values, how I am operating, sometimes you know, uh, I may operate sometime only with uh, some q afterwards, some other q afterwards, some other q, then it may take any other path crazily. Yeah, so that is the one what we are talking that energy balance gives x a as a function of temperature. Energy balance giving uh, uh, you know the functionality, the relationship between conversion and temperature. This is what is the simplest case what you have taken and I will draw for each reactor and we will derive for each reactor the energy balance equations, metric balance equations and then we will try to find out how do you solve the those equations for finding out the actual volume of the reactor. Okay? So, that is what we will do in the next class. And uh, I know you will be unhappy if I include this in uh, examination Monday, right? Yeah. So I think Monday all this will not be included. And uh, shall I include? Very simple, no? Third test you will have. Huh? Okay, good. So then I think till uh, multiple uh, reactions you will have. You know, it doesn't mean that I am giving only multiple reactions. Uh, multiple reactors and multiple reactors also uh, only we have done. 
So, portion for the second quiz is from 0 to multiple reaction, from beginning to multiple. What is the other thing? Once you understand multiple reactors and multiple reactions, the other one is LKG. Single reactors is single reactions are LKG only. So, that you should not crib. Okay? Yeah. <laughs>